Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss about compound interest. The objectives for this lesson are first compute compound interest and maturity value. Second, compute present value in compound interest environment. And the third one, solve problems involving compound interest. Okay, this is compound interest. The maturity value, the maturity or future value and compound interest is given by F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal or present value and F is the maturity, maturity or future value at the end of the term. And R is the interest rate and P is term or time in years. And the compound interest is given by the formula I sub C is equal to F minus P. So, makuha na to si future value. Kusa na to i-deduct si principal. Kusa na na to makita ang compound interest. Now, let's have example number one. Find the maturity value and the compound interest if 10,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. So the given we have here, the principal is 10,000 or P. The rate is 2% or in decimal form that is 0 0.02 and the time is 5 years. So what we are going to find is first the maturity value. Ikaduha, or the second one is the compound interest. Now, in our solution, let us first find the maturity value following the formula F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to T. So, substitute CP 10,000, copy 1, rate is 0 0.02 and time is 5. So, we add una ning nasa parenthesis, that becomes 1.02. Next, I multiply sa nato si 1.02 o kalima sa iyahang kaugalingon. So, 1.02 times 1.02 hang to labo ko kalima. The answer is 1.104080832. We were going to copy all of this. And I multiply na dahil na siya sa 10,000. The answer is 11,040.81. Now, let's proceed to the compound interest. Since nakuha na nato si future or maturity value, which is 11,040.81, let's substitute. So, ang F nato derid, this is 11,040.81 minus the principal, which is 10,000. Therefore, we have a compound interest of 1040.81. So the answer we have here the maturity value is 11040.81 and the compound interest is 1040.81. Let's have example number two. Find the maturity value and interest if 50,000 pesos is invested at 5% compounded annually for 8 years. So we have the given P is 50,000, rate is 5% or 0 0.05, and T is 8 years. So let's find maturity value and compound interest. First, let us find the maturity value by looking for or by using the formula which is F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to P. So substitute sa principal we have 50,000. 8 is 0 0.05 and time is 8. So let's add this first. I add with mga nasa parenthesis that becomes 1.05. Now, if I multiply natin si 1.05 kawalo sa yang kaugalingon because the exponent is 8, the answer is 1.47, 455, and so on until 625. 
Now, if you multiply this one to 50,000, the result is 73,872.77. So, the future value is 73,872.77. Now, let's find the compound interest following the formula I sub C is equal to F minus P. So, the future value is 73,872.77 substitute minus the principal which is 50,000. Therefore, the compound interest is 23,872.77. So, our conclusion here is that the maturity value is 73,000. 872.77 and the compound interest is 23,872.77. Now let's have example number D. Suppose your father deposited in your bank account 10,000 pesos at an annual rate interest rate of 0.5% compounded yearly. When you graduated from kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finished grade 12, how much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? So, the given, we have here the principal, which is 10,000. The rate is 0.5% or in decimal form, that is 0 0.005. And the time is 12 years. So, let's find the maturity value. Okay, the solution, we are going to use the formula F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to T. Now, let's substitute the values. We have P is 10,000 and rate is 0 0.005 and the time is 12. So, we add the ananasa parenthesis. We have... 10,000 times 1.005 raised to 12. So, si 1.005 eh, times oka 12 sa iyahang kaugalingon because the exponent is 12. We will have the answer 1.061677 and so on and so forth. And we are going to multiply that amount to 10,000. So, we will have the result 10,616.78. So, the future value is 10,616.78. So, our conclusion, the amount will become 10,616.78 after 12 years. That's all for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something and you may now enjoy your career. Thank you.